What did you learn today? What I learned today? Yeah. I learned to be valued wherever you go. Okay? Don't, don't give anything more attention that it takes away from you. You're valuable. Whatever you do, whoever you are, make sure you understand that. And if, you, and if you're not valued there, get out of it. Because that power and effort can go somewhere else. What did you learn today? I learned that people that can't afford water don't have cell phones. <laughs> That's what I learned today. So you How did you use... learn that? That's like budgeting. <laughs> First topic of the day is Nelly. Nelly is out here getting accused of all type of stuff. Oh, and shit. this seems like it's a year that so many male celebrities are catching some trouble. But early Saturday morning, rapper Nelly was arrested following a woman's claim that the rapper had allegedly sexually assaulted her on his tour bus while in Washington. Mm. Auburn Police Department confirmed in a statement to The Blast that the rapper had been arrested. He was later released from police custody as authorities continue to investigate the claim. Okay, we good. We good. So basically, uh, Nelly is in some trouble. And my whole question is, why would Nelly have to rape anybody? He's Nelly. He's Mr. Hot in here. He's hey. Mr. Drop down and get your eagle on, girl. <laughs> he's, he's Mr. like... Yeah, yeah. Like, uh-oh. You know what I'm saying? Uh-oh, you're in trouble now, but... Well, yeah, uh-oh, he is in trouble. Trouble, but I don't know. I think. How'd she get on the bus? Why was she on the tour bus? My, that's part of the question. So, like, she made it past <laughs> the security people, past the background of whatever, yeah. and made it back past to all the way to this tour bus. She went on to said tour bus. <laughs> Why did she go on the tour bus? She was just, was, did she, was she just gonna eat like graham crackers with Nelly? Like, I want a reimbursement to show. You, you didn't perform that yeah. one song I wanted. Um, I want, you did all rap. I want to hear your country music, uh, Nelly. So, my, yeah, my biggest question is like, why was she on the tour bus? Not that, not that that takes anything away from, you know, Nelly being accused of these accusations, but this, this is stuff that's happening a lot with a lot of times, like, oh, it happens this a year. Lot. Yeah, I mean, we had, we had Bill Cosby accused this year and people came out and then some people said like, oh, not really. And then like more people came out and said, oh, it was really. Right. And then we got more people c talking about- Kodak. Like, like, wait, what happened with Kodak Black? Just, you know, same situation, you know, just. For real, like a, a woman said today- Well, it was, he, it was it was videotaped, but it was just- Oh, so this is proof. Yeah. But it was just the fact that he was there, he's a public figure and an artist, you know. To, you, you, can't, be, you can't do wrong. You got somebody in, in your area, like this is my bus. You, uh -uh. My whole thing is just nobody should be able to be backstage. I don't care if you like. <laughs> I mean, she made it way past backstage. She in the bus. Like, that's the holy grail where so you yeah, need my, to be yeah. so my at thing, a concert. So, my whole question is again, why was she there? Again, that doesn't take away from what Nelly got accused of. But like, that's, that's messed up. Because it's, it said that, uh, at 3.48 a.m., a female called 911 to report that she was sexually assaulted by a male who was known as the rapper Nelly. A spokesperson from the police department said the alleged assault was reported to a court on a tour bus that was parked at the mm. concert. So, I don't know. It's and sometimes it happens when you know, they don't get, you know, reimbursed. Is that a code word for something? No. All right, cool. <laughs> Next topic is Harvey Weinstein. Harvey Weinstein once trapped a woman in the hallway of a restaurant that was closed to the public and masturbated in front of her until he ejaculated, she says. The oh. accusation comes a day after Weinstein was the subject of a bombshell New York Times report that revealed that he has settled at least eight sexual harassment claims. Wow. The incident took place a decade ago, according to Lauren Sivan, who was at the time a news anchor on a local cable channel in New York, Long Island 12. She says the experience left her shocked and that while she was told friends privately what happened, she remained quiet because she was in a long-term relationship and fearful of the power that Weinstein wielded in the media. Power. Yo, real talk. <laughs> If something if something goes down sexually, you need to come for it immediately. Yeah. Because like that's not a joke. You can't hold on to that. So you got basically you got Nelly in the news now. Of course, like she came forward immediately. Yeah. But like this whole coming uh, forward a decade later, no, 
that's that's not acceptable. Yeah. Now, I'll be, you know, some people are like, oh, I didn't want to come for it into the media and I was scared. Yeah, but no, be, this is serious. That's very serious. Like, you need to come for it. Rape is not a joke. Uh, sexual assault is not a joke. Anything that is considered with you being held against your will under somebody else's power, that's not a joke. You need to come forward immediately. I don't care about how you feel. You need right. to really take those steps because this is serious business. For him to have eight other alleged allegations, that's serious, he man. Need to, he need to do some time. I mean... And, and I don't care, like, I don't care be what type about, of power somebody holds. What you saying? I see you can't be scared and all oh, they're gonna judge me or think about it if, if it happens there's people out here in these organizations that's willing to help you and people that do stuff like that those are sexual predators real talk like y'all saw chris hansen's to catch a predator like yeah. people out here is on some some spooky they, creepy stuff they're a little different they are mad different like people showing up to houses full and naked people that's just weird. doing all types of ungodly things in front of people that's serious come forward if people's doing nasty stuff and it's not about like you and you're being held against your will for sure. Like and then just because it's not happening to you, it's happening to somebody you know, you love, or just a stranger. Cause I think it's no, all right, all right, super. Like cause we we got on a serious topic now, but mm -hmm. like yo, I, the the amount of women that I know that have been sexually assaulted in their lifetime is astounding. It's a very high percentage of them, yeah. Very Men high too. percentage. Men too. More women that I know than not have been in some type of sexual harassment or assault situation being held against their will at some front point in their life in some frame point whether it's a child whether it's a middle childhood whether it's adulthood right. and, and people need to come forward more often yeah. people need to start taking accountability for their actions mm -hmm. men especially because people they're, they're the ones being accused of most of this and right. we really need to take a step towards stopping quote unquote rape culture, which I hate that word because rape culture is nothing cultural about rape. I think it's a ter no. terrible term for it, but that's something we really need to take steps to stop because if we don't take steps to stop it it's and going, we don't take steps towards happening. practicing consensual sexual relations in, in any way, shape or form for lack of a better phrase, mm -hmm. we're not going to progress as a society. Not at all. Not destroying people like that. Cause that's, a lot of people live with that. Especially if it's at a young age, or if they're, or it's like a family member, it sticks with them forever, and that stops future relationships and future goals, where you have a battle between men and women, where just because something happened to them, they're afraid to work in a certain field, they're afraid to open up and say different kind of things. So we got to protect not our own, but everybody around us, because do happen, it is scary, but you can overcome it. Gucci Mane is definitely a top selling author now. Wow. East Atlanta rapper and trap king Gucci Mane the Flip uh. is topping the best sellers list with his autobiographical book, The Autobiography of Gucci Mane. Number four on the New York Times hardcover nonfiction list and number four on the combined print and ebook nonfiction list. The honest, inspirational memoir focuses on Maine's triumphs and pitfalls throughout his life and career. Mm. Yo, ever That's, since he got out, yeah, it's been an upswing. There's no excuse. Black men, if you just got a job, can't get a job, blah, 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 write a book. Do what Gucci did. He, All right, <laughs> but everybody's not going to read. All right, I, nobody's going to well, read he, Man Man's book. Man, like, if it's a good book, because a lot of people listen to his music, they, they can relate or want to live that life that they seen. Yeah. I mean, same thing with books. People read, like, what's the, To Pimp a Mockingbird? Ain't that what's called? <laughs> You're thinking of To Pimp a Butterfly, which is Kendrick's, Kendrick's <laughs> album. And then no, you're I'm thinking just To Kill a Mockingbird. Yeah, I'm just messing with you. But yeah, like, people, people read for a very high... People read books because they want to live vicariously through somebody else. Yeah. And the fact of the matter is, people live vicariously through somebody else because they don't have those types of excitement or things happening in their lives. People live vicariously through somebody else because, right. you know, we don't have all types of action happening in our lives. And to be quite frankly and honest, I, that's why we so obsessed with like celebrity culture you dig like we want to know what's happening with the Kardashians Living. we're trying to keep up with them we're trying to make sure we keeping up with LeBron and Steph Curry because we want to be them we want to keep up with what Justin Bieber is doing and DJ Khaled is he, he, doing? he giving us another one and another one <laughs> and another one and another one <laughs>
so basically you you we 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 have to take what has been negative aspects of our lives and, and apply it to us and, and for the better and flip it for the better take there's there's no reason energy is energy you dig it so somebody's put negative energy at you or you've been creating negative energy and you're harboring that turn that flip it into positive energy right. you dig do a gucci man day he topping the new york best sellers um, big, and it's, it's a lot yeah so with all the negativity is happening it's definitely a lot of positivity is still happening we need to stay focused on that you dig amen All right, question of the day. The Could mind. you date someone your friend has dated before and why? No. This is a nice look. Oh, you, oh, so you gonna answer before what the people do. Just okay, no. go, ahead, go ahead. No, that's it, just no. I wanna hear what they gotta say, then I'm gonna say some stuff. Well, I don't Mag really got nothing to say. But Megan Renee say. said no because loyalty. It looks like Nolan B. Shropshire said, depends on how serious it was and if they were intimate at all. See, it's always serious. Ephraim Nehemiah said, ideally, yes. But jealousy, possessiveness, and insecurity run rampant. So it depends on the friend. Just because they was incompatible doesn't mean I should miss my blessing. Ooh, ooh. He took the whole other level now. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Don't miss your blessing because your blessing is coming. All right, Pastor. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> Darren Pharrell said, Guy Code, we don't mess with ex girlfriends. Anything else up for grabs? It seems like everybody, <laughs> it seemed like, it seemed like uh, everybody got different views on this. Uh, so, like, I don't know. <laughs> I think. The, the Buddha. <laughs> the boot. I think up for grabs me like, all right, so that's like if you was a committed relationship. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, okay. Yeah. So if y'all like, like not talking, right, like, right, right, right. like, y'all was something. Yeah. <laughs> y'all was over. What y'all yeah, talking? Like, yeah. Like Facebook pictures, like, picture, like this is Bay, this is boyfriend. Like you them know, on a it's trip. A, it's like, a title. At they Myrtle Beach. Title. Yeah. Like, just, yeah. Something like that. <laughs> like, what y'all talking about? We're talking about. Buddy. Went down to Art Basel together or something <laughs> like that. But no, I think he's saying that, you know, if y'all was just talking or, yeah. you know, that was just my little thing on the side. My little thing. Oh, even though I ain't have a man. Oh, that's that's your little friend. Yo. Yeah, just a little friend. Well, but but I don't I don't know. I think I, I say no, man. I will I it, say all right, I say yeah if it's just like dated. If it if it really if it really wasn't like if that a was relationship. Your girl, like, nah, it's off limits. Yeah, but if that was, if it was just like, oh, we was talking for a couple months. Mm -hmm. Why? Because like, let me, let me put it like this. Let me put it like this. If you live in a mid-sized city, not even a big city, like or a small city, but if you live in a, a regular size city, which is what most people live in, right. if you had, if if it was off limits for the people that like you just like talk to for a little <laughs> bit, couldn't nobody date nobody. Like yeah. especially in the city I'm from, like you wouldn't be able to date anybody because it's just like, oh well. She then, texted you three times, so now she <laughs> off limits. So, oh, okay. So, because Look, Lucretia texted Look, me three times. Lucretia Johnson? <laughs> no. But a lot of people hold on to that. Like, oh, I used to talk to him in middle school. I'm like, just let it go. Like, just let it go. If it was high school or younger, it don't it, count. It don't count. <laughs> it don't count. It, like, that was just your little friend. Yeah. That was just your little friend. I know. Did, didn't you date my high school? Did you only saw at high school? Yeah, it was a terrible relationship. Like, like you. Wait, wait. What was the story? Like, she broke you, up with me because it was summer. Like, you know, it was the summertime. And I was like, okay, deuces. <laughs> like, <laughs> you only saw her at her locker. And. <laughs> That's that's a problem with y'all women. Just don't constrict to be just that. Be more. You in a relationship for a reason. They just oh I he he my food bay. He only gonna take me out to eat. Or they got the club bay. Like oh he a promoter. He can get me in the club for free. Or like the Willie B bay. Or it's like oh he talked to me and I just love his intellect and blah blah blah. But then she go like sleep with the rapper who got like gun charges and stuff. Hey, um. <laughs> oh God. Ladies. <laughs> Stop using men for their conversation and their intellect. If you're not giving anything, then why are you just leeching? Like, <laughs> there's no reason to be like, oh, well, you know, I think he's attractive, but his mind is really great. And then you're just talking to him, but then you're going and sleeping with DeAndre on the side. Gosh. And you're not giving- DeAndre Perkins. You're not giving Daryl any love. Give Daryl some love, y'all. You gotta give Daryl some love. Don't just be here for the mind. Want his body too. And men, don't just want women for their body. Yeah, no, that's disrespectful. You gotta give them more. 
you got to give them intellect and you have to give them conversation and you have to give them care. Like clear your and, bank account. And support. Wait, clear your bank huh? account? What? Yeah, what? What'd you say? Why are you clearing your bank account? I didn't say that. I ain't got four, five, six, seven, eight M's in my, in my bank, bank account. account. Yeah. In my bank account. What? In my I mean, bank if 21... <laughs> That's all right. I'm not referencing that. No, it's not. It's not. Tell no. we here. This will talk. Well, who, talk will. Who, who got more money, Amber Rose or Twenty One Savage? Probably Amber. She she been around longer. Then she date Russell Simmons. <laughs> she got all that money. Kanye West. Was, was she with Wiz Khalifa? Yeah. Um, and then more celebrities. Like she <laughs> she's in the circle. Yeah, she's in the circle. Like she's et cetera, like celebrities. she like Karuchi and Black China and like she's in she's in that circle of like dating around the celebrity circle. It's like an approved list. Like when you become a celebrity, there's a list that you get of people that have come into the circle. Oh, it's like it's like the uh, secretary that come in like these are the classes you can take for this. Yeah, like, school yeah. Year. So like <laughs> these are the available women today. The Kardashians are on that list. Uh, Karuchi's on that list. Oh, Amber Rose is on that list. Black China is on that list. Michelle Obama on that list. No, Michelle Obama is not. She's on that not list. on the list. Do not. That is blasphemy. <laughs> why, why are you saying such negativity? No, I, no, no, no. You gonna go to hell. Have, I mean, we in America. It can't get worse than that. Like, it's... Really? Have you been to like third world countries? <laughs> no. Where they don't have water? No. A basic life necessity. <laughs> water. Did you drink water today? I did. Some child in uh, some third world country didn't. Well, tell him to hit me up. I got him some water. One, he can't hit you up. He doesn't have a phone. If he don't have water, do you think he has a phone? <laughs> Do you think people that don't have water have phones, bro? I don't know. Do you seriously think people that have water, <laughs> that don't have water have phones? Because they don't. If you can't afford water, you can't afford a phone. It's people in this country that can't afford water. I don't care how cheap Metro PCS is. <laughs> Plug. I'm Willie B. And I'm Ill Will. And this is Will Talk. And if you like what you're seeing, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn those push notifications, and make sure you're sharing and retweet. Yes. Follow us at the Q Brand and follow us respectively at Willie B Music and Ill Like Will. Peace.